A Pierce County man is accused of attacking a woman he dated for four months. There's only one problem. The victim says she never met him. But that did not stop the city of Tacoma's prosecuting attorney from charging the man with a crime. Now, this has been quite the roller coaster for Robert Wiltfong and his wife. He admits he had some issues in his younger years, but for two decades, he's been on the straight and narrow. So imagine how it felt to all come crashing down because a court summons arrived on his doorstep for a crime he knows he didn't commit. In fact, we've proved it. And it appears that investigators waited until we called them out on it to take action. It seems reckless and it certainly feels reckless. It's a case of the wrong Robert. Both of these men white, roughly 6'2", and both weighing in around 220 pounds. But as Robert Wiltfong points out, it's where the similarities end. This guy doesn't look like me at all. Zero. You can probably hear the frustration in his voice. His wife's, too. Immense frustration. Just so much frustration. Those emotions stem from this court summons, calling for Wiltfong to appear in court next week. Though it appears police have the wrong robber. Because as it happens, that other Robert I mentioned, he also has the last name Wilt Fong. On your screen, you have the in-person Robert. That's Robert Lee Wilt Fong. In the image, that's Robert Michael Wilt Fong. But when three different Tacoma police officers filled out three reports in early March, each wrote down the wrong middle name missing their own note that the Robert Wiltfong they were after has a telltale monster tattoo under his right eye. How can they mess that up? Something we confirmed with the victim when we tracked her down. That's definitely not him. Not him. That's him. Gotcha. Wow. Sure enough, she had no clue that an innocent man was about to face a judge, a man she had never even met. It's unfortunate. And I, man, I would be freaking out if, if I were in his shoes. I don't want this guy to have to pay for what he has done. You know what I mean? It's not fair. This one in particular, for me, is just, I mean, it's a slap in the face. It's against everything who I am. For Robert, the one we know is innocent, he was shocked when he learned about the crime he'd been accused of. All of it playing out at a Tacoma apartment complex. Robert Michael Wiltfong is accused of texting death threats before ultimately showing up, forcing his way into the victim's home, and yelling at one point, I'm gonna beat your ass. The victim was injured when she was shoved to the ground. But the real concern is that this other Robert, the one with a face tattoo and a lengthy criminal record, is on the sex offender registry for, among other things, rape. Uh, being tied to that just hits differently. Why couldn't they do a little due diligence and look through the paperwork one more time to discover these things that you were easily able to discover. We had that same question, among others. So I reached out to Tacoma's police chief and the city attorney's office. They didn't respond right away. But suddenly, Robert's court date was moved up. No one bothered to tell him. So without Robert or our pesky TV news cameras, the charge was dismissed, and this note in red was attached, saying, charge to be removed from defendant's record. Now, Tacoma police declined an on-camera interview, but told me their system that they file reports on is similar to Outlook. If I start to write my name, for instance, it finds matches, and when I click, it can autofill. But in this case, it filled in the information of another Robert Wiltfong. By phone, a spokesperson telling me, it's definitely not an easy situation. I feel for the man whose identity was mistaken. I was also told that a detective has since been assigned. They're hoping to understand how this all happened. In the meantime, Michael Wiltfong, a.k.a. Monster, has since been charged. It's just scary to think, number one, that it can happen. I mean, these are the things you see on movies. But second, you know, the longevity, the downstream impact that this may have. So the wrong Robert, or the one that we know for sure is innocent, had two major concerns, missing work and hiring an attorney. This family, like so many, can't afford to just dig into their savings. Now, they avoided that because of our investigative team, but it remains unclear why this mistake was made in the first place. I am told that there was body-worn camera. The detectives will go back and review it, so we do hope to know more about this next week. Now, as for the city attorney's office, we have still had no contact from them despite us reaching out.